Hacht stood beside Jeb in the briefing room of Julius IX's military headquarters. It had been only a few days since their daring mission to Fresna, but the atmosphere of urgency hadn't diminished. If anything, it had intensified. Admiral Decker's hologram flickered to life before them, his face etched with determination. Captain Sheets, crew of the Broken Promise, I have a new assignment for you, one that could turn the tide of this war. Jeb straightened, his eyes alert. We're ready, sir. What's the mission? Decker's hologram expanded, showing a series of planets between Julius IX and Buena Terra, the Imperial capital. We're launching a series of covert insertions on these Imperial-held worlds. Your job is to drop off elite squads of Marines we're calling them Decker's Raiders behind enemy lines. Hacked felt a mixture of excitement and apprehension. Covert drops were dangerous under the best circumstances, and these would be deep in hostile territory. These raiders, Decker continued, will sabotage key Imperial installations, gather intelligence, and sow chaos in preparation for our main assault. Your ship speed and your crew's expertise make you ideal for this mission. Jeb nodded, a hint of a smile on his face. Sounds like the kind of impossible odds we specialize in, Admiral. Decker's expression softened slightly. I know I can count on you and your crew, Captain. But be warned, this operation is extremely high risk. The Empire will be on high alert after your Fresna mission. As the briefing continued, Hack's mind raced with calculations. He'd need to plot courses that would avoid Imperial patrols, find drop zones that offered cover for the raiders, and ensure quick extraction routes. When they left the briefing room, Jeb gathered the crew. All right, people, we've got our work cut out for us. Hacked, I need you to start plotting approach vectors for our first target. Killian, work with the raiders to modify our cargo bay for rapid deployment. The rest of you, prep the ship. We leave in six hours. As Hack made his way to the navigation room, he couldn't help but feel a sense of purpose. They weren't just racing anymore, or even fighting isolated battles. They were part of something bigger, a coordinated effort to bring down an empire. The broken promise had started as a prison, became their salvation, and was now an instrument of revolution. The broken promise dropped out of FTL on the dark side of Nexus 7, their first target planet. Hack's paws danced across his console, running last-minute checks on their approach vector. Stealth systems engaged Hack reported, his voice barely above a whisper, despite the fact that no one could hear them in space. Old habits from sneaking around during races died hard. Jeb nodded, his eyes fixed on the view screen. Take us in, nice and easy. Killian, keep an eye out for any patrol ships. The ship glided silently through Nexus 7's upper atmosphere, the hull heating up as they descended. In the cargo bay, Hack knew the squad of Decker's raiders would be performing final equipment checks, ready for their drop. Approaching the drop zone, Hacked announced, his ears swiveling nervously. Imperial garrison is 50 kilometers to the east, no signs they've detected us yet. Jeb's hands were steady on the controls as he guided the ship lower. All right, let's make this quick. Open the bay doors. The moment the doors opened, the raiders were in motion. With practiced efficiency, they deployed from the ship, their jet packs flaring briefly as they descended towards the rocky terrain below. Just as Hacked was beginning to think they might pull this off without a hitch, his console lit up with warnings. Captain. Imperial patrol approaching from the north. Evasive maneuvers Jeb ordered calmly. Hacked. Find us a way out of here that won't lead them back to our drop zone. Hack's mind raced as he calculated trajectories, factoring in terrain, Imperial patrol routes, and their need for a stealthy exit. Got it. If we skim through this canyon to the west, we should be able to lose them in the magnetic interference from the mineral deposits. Jeb didn't hesitate, sending the broken promise into a dive that would have made Hack's stomach lurch if he weren't so used to the captain's daring maneuvers. They weaved through the narrow canyon, the ship's hull mere meters from the jagged rocks on either side. The Imperial patrol ships followed, but their larger, less maneuverable craft struggled with the tight turns. One by one, they pulled up, unable to match the Broken Promise's agility. As they emerged from the canyon and shot back up toward space, Hacked allowed himself a small sigh of relief. We're clear, Captain. No signs of pursuit. Jeb nodded, 
a hint of a smile on his face. Nice work, everyone. Especially you, Hacked. That canyon route was inspired. As they prepared to jump to their next target, Hacked couldn't help but feel a surge of pride. They had just successfully inserted a team of elite operatives onto an Imperial stronghold, right under the enemy's nose. But this was just the first of many drops they'd be making. As the stars streaked into lines around them, signaling their jump to FTL, Hack knew that the real challenge was just beginning. Over the next few days, the crew of the Broken Promise fell into a grueling rhythm. Planet after planet, they dropped squads of Decker's raiders into Imperial territory. Each mission was a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, pushing Hack's navigational skills and Jeb's piloting abilities to their limits. As they prepared for their seventh drop in as many days, Hack noticed something different in the way the Imperial forces were responding. Their movements seemed more frantic, less coordinated. Captain Hack called out as they approached their latest target, a heavily industrialized world called Forge 9. I'm picking up unusual calm chatter from the Imperial forces. They seem disorganized. Jeb raised an eyebrow, studying the tactical display. Any idea why? Before Hacked could respond, Killian's gruff voice cut in. I think I know he switched on the main view screen, showing an intercepted Imperial broadcast. The news anchor's face was tight with barely concealed panic as she reported, confirmed that rebel forces have taken control of Centauri Prime's orbital defenses. The planet's fall appears imminent. A stunned silence fell over the bridge. Centauri Prime had been one of the Empire's most fortified worlds. Its capture was supposed to take months, if not years. By the cosmic void Jeb breathed. They did it. And in less than a month, Hack's mind raced as he processed the implications. Captain, if Centauri Prime falls, it'll create a domino effect. The whole sector could collapse. Jeb nodded, a fierce grin spreading across his face. Exactly. And we're going to help push those dominoes he turned to the comm system. Decker's Raiders, prepare for drop. We're about to hit Forge 9 while they're still reeling from the news. As they dove towards their drop zone, evading the half-hearted attempts of the local defense forces to stop them, Hack couldn't help but feel a sense of awe. They were witnessing history in the making, the fall of an empire that had seemed unshakable just weeks ago. The drop went smoother than any before, the Imperial forces too distracted by the news of Centauri Prime's fall to mount an effective defense. As they pulled away from Forge 9, mission accomplished, Jeb gathered the crew on the bridge. People, he said, his voice filled with a mixture of pride and determination. What we're doing here, what all of us are doing across the galaxy, it's working. The Empire is on the back foot, and we're not going to let up. Hack nodded, feeling a surge of hope. They had started this journey as condemned racers, fighting for their own survival. Now, they were at the forefront of a revolution that was reshaping the galaxy. The Broken Promise emerged from FTL in the shadow of a gas giant, their target planet a small, resource-rich world called Tyros Three Visible as a blue-green crescent beyond. This drop promised to be their riskiest yet, with Imperial presence heavier than on previous targets. Multiple patrol ships detected hacked reported, his whiskers twitching nervously. They've increased security significantly, Captain. Jeb nodded grimly. They're learning. Hacked, find us a way through. We need to get our raiders on the ground. As Hack's paws flew over his console, plotting a course through the Imperial patrol net, an alert caught his attention. Captain, I'm picking up some unusual transmissions from the planet's surface. It's not Imperial comm chatter. Killian leaned in, his eyes narrowing. Let me see that after a moment, his face split into a fierce grin. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like we're not the only ones causing trouble for the Empire. Jeb raised an eyebrow. Explain. It's a resistance network, Killian said, excitement creeping into his gruff voice. Looks like the locals have decided they've had enough of Imperial rule. They're coordinating attacks on Imperial facilities across the planet. The implications weren't lost on anyone. This changed everything about their mission. Hack Jeb ordered, can you get us in touch with these resistance fighters? It took some doing, but Hack managed to establish a secure connection. 
The face that appeared on their screen was that of a battle-worn alien, her four eyes widening in surprise at the sight of them. This is Captain Jeb Sheets of the Broken Promise Jeb began. We're here to drop a team of special operatives, but it seems you folks have started the party without us. The alien resistance leader, who introduced herself as Commander Zara, quickly filled them in on the situation. Inspired by news of rebel victories across the galaxy, the people of Tyros III had risen up against their imperial oppressors. Your arrival couldn't be better timed, Zara said. We've got the Imperials on the run, but they're regrouping for a counterattack. Your operatives could tip the balance. What followed was a hastily coordinated joint operation. The Broken Promise provided air support while Decker's raiders deployed to key strategic locations, linking up with the local resistance. As Hack guided the ship through a series of daring maneuvers, providing cover for their ground forces, he couldn't help but feel a sense of awe. They had come here expecting to light a spark of rebellion, only to find a raging inferno already burning. Hours later, as the last Imperial stronghold on Tyros III fell, Jeb gathered the crew on the bridge. His face was tired but triumphant. What we've seen here today, he said, his voice filled with conviction, it's happening all across the galaxy. Our actions, our victories, they're inspiring others to rise up. The Empire's not just fighting us anymore. They're fighting everyone they've ever oppressed. Act felt a swell of pride and hope. They had started this journey alone, outcasts fighting against impossible odds. Now, they were part of something far bigger than themselves. As they prepared to leave Tyros III, now firmly in rebel hands, Hacked couldn't shake the feeling that they were witnessing the beginning of the end for the Empire. The galaxy was changing, and the Broken Promise was right at the heart of that change. The Broken Promise hung in high orbit around Kronos II, their final target in this campaign of insertions. Hack's paws moved deftly across his console, monitoring Imperial communications while the last squad of Decker's raiders prepared for their drop. Captain Hacked called out, his ears twitching with excitement, you need to see this. Jeb moved to Hack's station, his brow furrowing as he took in the flood of data scrolling across the screen. What am I looking at, Hacked? Imperial news broadcasts, Sir Hacked explained, his whiskers quivering. From all over the galaxy, I've never seen anything like it. As Jeb watched, Hacked began filtering through the intercepted transmissions, displaying them on the main view screen for the entire crew to see. Rebel forces seize control of Novaria's orbital shipyards. Mass uprising on Helios Prime Imperial Governor flees. Mysterious saboteurs cripple Axis 9 defense grid. Headline after headline flashed across the screen, each one detailing another blow against the Empire. It wasn't just the worlds they had visited or the places where Decker's raiders had struck. The rebellion had spread like wildfire across the galaxy. It's happening everywhere, Killian muttered, a note of awe in his gruff voice. The whole damn empire's going up in flames. Jeb nodded, a fierce pride shining in his eyes. This is it, people. This is what we've been fighting for. Admiral Decker was right there were allies waiting to stand with us, and now they've risen. As the crew watched in amazement, Hacked continued to filter through the broadcasts. Reports of rebel victories, imperial retreats, and planetary liberations poured in from every corner of the galaxy. The Empire, once seemingly invincible, was crumbling before their eyes. Captain Hacked said, looking up from his console, what does this mean for us? For our mission? Jeb was quiet for a moment, his eyes still fixed on the stream of reports. When he spoke, his voice was filled with determination. It means we keep pushing. We've helped start something bigger than any of us could have imagined and we're going to see it through to the end. He turned to address the entire crew. The Empire's days are numbered, but they're not going to go down without a fight. There will be hard battles ahead, maybe the hardest we've ever faced, but for the first time we know we can win. As Jeb's words sank in, Hacked felt a surge of emotion. They had come so far from those first desperate races, fighting merely to survive another day. Now, they were at the forefront of a galactic revolution, racing towards a future free from imperial tyranny. The final squad of raiders deployed, streaking towards the surface of Kronos II, but Hack knew that this was far more than just another insertion. It was another push, 
another step towards victory in a war that now encompassed the entire galaxy. As the broken promise prepared to jump back to Julius IX, Hacked couldn't help but feel a sense of anticipation. The greatest race of their lives was entering its final lap. The Empire was faltering, and the rebellion was rising. The galaxy was in revolt, and they were right where they belonged at the heart of the storm, pushing forward, always racing towards freedom. Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you loved it. Please remember to subscribe if you did like it so you can see more videos like this. And please give us a like and a comment too. I'll see you in the next one.